So continuing on our tour of the brand new 2021 Yamaha 255 XD, uh, we're going to go into the cockpit area now, talk about some of the creature comforts, some of the new features, some of the changes that we've noticed uh, to give to you today. So one of the things I'm noticing right away, I stand about six feet tall, the top of this canopy here is easily another six inches above my head. Uh, in previous year models, that top could be a little bit in the way, so you have to kind of duck to go in. Sometimes you get your head on that, so it's really nice to see that today. Also, you'll notice it has the larger E-Series style tower. It's got the solar chargers built in. It's got the ability to lower it and flatten when you're still in a small space, but significant amounts of sunshade. Matter of fact, this sunshade here is going to come back just about to the back edge here, all the way to the front here. So, tons of shade that you guys are trying to duck out of the sun, especially here in Florida. Uh, another thing I've noticed that I really like, they put the can speakers here up on top of the tower versus below the tower. So when we're walking around, no chance of hitting your head on that speaker. That's a really welcome addition. We have an upgraded speaker package on the XD models. So wet sound sound bar, of course your larger tower speakers, upgraded speakers all the way around the boat, including a really nice subwoofer here. This looks like probably a 12 inch sub here on the side. Amplifiers all built into the connect screen. So just an amazing sound system. Yamaha's done a great job with that. Uh, moving over here now, you're gonna notice that the tower design is new this year. And the way that they secure the tower in that locked up position, it's got a new mechanism. And this promises to be very robust, very tough, obviously very durable. The tower does collapse again if you're gonna be going under a low bridge, putting it in a garage space, etc. cetera, so it's gonna reduce the tower height. Check in the Yamaha's app or website for exact uh, garage door height measurements. Moving further into the cockpit, you'll also notice a really nice galley area that Yamaha has innovated, trying to bring some of the features of the 27 footer into the 25. So right now you'll notice you have a food prep station here, nice drink holder. If you want to stow this away, you simply lift up, lock this down, and put this back. It's going to give you a nice rear-facing jump seat, as well as dedicated access or dedicated space for food prep. It's got a nice storage area here that's carpeted. Underneath, you have a cooler that's always available. So if your uh, passengers are sitting on top of a seat cushion, and you say, hey, I want to get a drink, reach over and grab it. You don't have to tell your passengers to get up to get access to the cooler. So it's a really welcome feature there. Underneath our port side storage area here, you'll notice that there is a really large water bag on the XD models. Any of your X series boats are going to have built-in ballast. Total of 1,600 pounds on this boat. You're going to have your battery switches, battery. This area is really consumed by uh, the water bag, so you're not going to have a lot of storage on this particular model. However, if you're buying a 250 or 252 model that does not have the ballast system, that area is a lot more open and useful. Opposite side here, same thing. We have a cover plate. This area is consumed by this larger surf bag here, this ballast bag, water bag. Moving into the cockpit further, if you're coming with a camera, we'll take some shots of the engine now. This is a first for Yamaha in their 25 foot, obviously brand new boat, but they've never done this before, even in 24s or 21s. Yamaha is now putting twin SVHO high output engines in this boat. So twin 250s, total of 500 horsepower. Uh, this engine is rock solid. It's been around for a long time. Tons of low end torque, lots of uh, get up and go, gets to plane very quickly. Uh, lots of power for stacking ballast on this boat and going surfing, so something that you're really gonna enjoy. And one of the things I noticed today that I really, really like is over on the port side here, if you come over the camera, they've relocated the air filter boxes. So getting in and changing your air filters is much simpler than it was in years past. In previous years, the air filter was down here, really kind of sucked up to this wall here, it was very tough to get to. Same thing on the opposite side. They put the air filter over off to the side. It's much easier to get to and change that air filter out. I really like that a lot. One more thing I noticed here at the top too, this foam liner here for sound deadening is a really great feature, but over time, when you've had this boat two and three and four years, sometimes the adhesive that holds this in place it can kind of loosen, so they've added these really nice anchors. So this is going to secure the foam to the deck, make sure that it's always in place, so it's not going to be bothersome to you having to re-adhere adhere that every few years, so really like that feature a lot too. 
Bears are bound in this new 25 foot model. I'm counting them now. I'm counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 22 cup holders, so there's never going to be a time where you're not close to your drink, especially on a hot day in Florida like it is today. Florida never misses an opportunity to give you a hot day. Um, back here on the swim platform, one of the other, other nicer things that I've seen, you have a really cool insert here uh, that allows you to take this walkway, convert this into an additional seating area. Nice and snug. Prototype boat. This is a, technically a prototype boat. I think in production that might be a little bit simpler. If you don't want to use it that way, you can pull this out, flip it over, and now you've got a couple places to put your phone, your situated cup there. So, so really nice. Moving around to the helm area. On all E Series boats, you're going to have these E Series style throttles. These are throttled by wire, so a lot uh, more uh, accurate than you would find with a traditional uh, throttle by cable design. You've got the built in speed control system. Obviously, Yamaha's uh, traditional uh, no weight mode is built in. Uh, you can set cruise control, very simple with this, just using the next system. So, I really like this feature a lot. Also, has the ability to combine throttles, so you're using just one versus having to use both simultaneously. Some people prefer that. Um, also, in the XD model, a new feature that we saw with the introduction of the 275, they've introduced the drive system. So drive system is similar to, in the personal watercraft world, their ride system. It allows you to have access to the throttles right here on the steering wheel. So you've got forward control over on the right hand, you have reverse control on the left hand. When you activate this system by tapping a button on the screen, it's gonna allow you to dock a lot more simply by just having control right here on the steering wheel. Versus having one hand here and one hand on the throttle and having to continually go forward and backward. It's a lot simpler. So it's gonna make docking maneuvers a lot more simple for you and, and your family. Push the button starters here. So push the start, there's a switch down low. You can turn the boat on and off with that key switch. Also you have uh, some extra buttons that would normally be connected through the connect system. Also are gonna be redundant C-type buttons over off to the side here. Uh, so they will also be backlit uh, with blue LEDs and in the nighttime, so it's got a great appearance at night. Uh, your rotary jog system here is really nice for controlling your connect screen. Really like that a lot. Also, for your smartphone, I'm going to show you this. this is really cool. You've got a built-in phone holder, which is really nice. And I believe if we take it and slide the phone a little bit, it'll actually go landscape or portrait. So that's really great. You can put your phone right there, access your music, etc. That's really cool. Tilt steering is always nice. Your built-in 12-volt accessory jack here, and then your auxiliary input port here, in case you've got something that you want to plug in for a different type of audio device. GPS puck on the front here, that's nice. That GPS-based speed here. Opening up this locker here now, we've got a really large area for a porta potty. You've got your built-in, uh, your, your accessory table that's going to come with the boat, so you can have um, lunch right here in the cockpit or on the swim platform. Uh, just really makes for a nice area to put. Uh, if you want to do a porta potty, that's great. Or a lot of people just put lawn chairs, they'll put extra floats, etc. So it's, it's huge. You also see this year they added a nice, cool spot to put your table legs, so you know where it goes. It's always out of the way. And the back here there's a towel bar. I don't know if you see that with the camera. They added a towel bar this year, so if you want to hang up some of those wet life jackets and keep them dry, it's a cool place to get them out of the way. Also, there's lighting inside as well, so that's really great. Let's talk about the seats for a moment. We've got some really cool uh, upholstered seats here with flip-up bolsters. You have the ability to tilt. You also have the ability to slide forward and also rotate. So this is going to happen for both the port side and the starboard side seats. Really nice feature. This uh, passenger chair is the same. People ask a lot of times, how do you turn these things. I want to show you that real quick because it's sometimes kind of confusing. You rock this little switch here. See how it slides in and out? You rock this switch here. It's going to give you the ability to, to slide up and back just by rotating this way or this way it lets you turn. So just in case you're wondering how to do that, pretty simple once you've done it a few thousand times like I have. Nice snap down flooring on this boat. 
you come out and be uh, washed, cleaned, dried, and then reinstalled. It's uh, EVA foam, so it's not going to absorb a lot of moisture. So it's really cool. Over on the side over here, we've got a little pocket that's got a built-in cargo net. Really great for just stowing some essentials. You know, a trash can if you like to place in that spot or whatever. It's kind of a nice little feature. Up on top of this head compartment here, you'll also notice there's a couple of cup holders and a spot for a phone. Put a non-skid pad on the top here as well. One last thing I want to hit on while we're in the cockpit, down low here inside of our ski locker, we have the center line water bag. This is all going to be pump filled through the Connect system, so all three bags on board the boat can be controlled independently through Connect. You'll find this has got a little valve switch, a valve uh, here for cutoff, here as well as inside the engine compartment. All total, again, about 1,600 pounds of total ballast on this boat. About a 200 pound increase from last year, which is the one cool feature I like too, Yamaha's always done a great job adding a windbreak. This little feature here allows you to flop the windshield closed. Now we've got a more than closed cockpit area for riding around those cooler mornings or cooler evenings. That rounds out the cockpit area on the new 255 HD. Again, most of these basic features you'll find on the 252 and 250 models. Uh, again, lots of upgrades to the 255 HD. For more information about Yamaha's new 25-foot product line, visit YamahaBoats.com. You can also visit us here at SightingSpringsOnline.com. You'll find some information, or even if you want to contact us at JetBoatPilot.com, be glad to answer any questions that you might have. So thanks again for watching this video today. Hope it was helpful to you. Have a great day.